Hello everyone and welcome back to your own channel technical Sahil. In today's video we are going to see that how we can copy a file from our local PC to the remote server and do the vice versa with the help of PSCP which is the open source free program developed by the same developers who has developed the putty I think the Simon Thatman so and it will also be available on the same website uh, where we download the putty so let's Search on Google PSCP. Now you can open this link. That's the same link uh, where we download the putty. Let's download this uh, PSCP exe. My computer is 64 bit, so I am downloading this. If you have a 32 bit, you can download this. Let's cut this and paste to desktop. Now this is the PSCP and uh, this is the PuTTY. They both have a very different programs. Like if we open the PuTTY. This is an SSH client which helps us to log in to our server via Windows or all those distros which does not have inbuilt terminal. But this is something different. Uh, this means that it helps to copy and paste the files from either local PC to the remote server or from remote server to the local PC. So currently if we check our directory, it's uh, inside root and if we check, there is nothing inside root with the name of file.zip so now let's open the command prompt and let's type uh, cd desktop now here we need to type pscp capital p which means port and which is 22 by default and type the file name file.zip now this is our local path now we need to define the path of our remote server so let's type the username root at the rate the IP address of the server column forward slash root which is the directory slash file.zip we doesn't need to type everything in the file name. We can also uh, do this without typing the file name. It only means that if we want to specify a different name, although if we want the same name, we don't need to define the file name here. So press enter. Here we need to provide the root password. Now you can see the file has been copied. If we check, yeah, file.zip is there. Now let's create a new file on this remote server. Now if we check the file.txt is also there. So now let's get this file on our local so, uh, local PC and how do we do that we simply need to type PSCP port 22 now here we first need to define the remote path which is root at the rate the server IP And here we need to specify the directory and this time we need to define the file name because which file we are getting because there are multiple files in the present working directory which I show you. So file.txt now where we want to paste this file on our local PC since if we are on desktop and we want file on a desktop so we don't need to type again the 
C users HP and this uh, HP is my username uh, and the desktop we simply need to type dot and press enter again we need to provide the root password so we get the file yeah file.txt hello world the same text which we uh, write there in the remote server so that's how it works and that's how that's the difference between the putty and the pscp so that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching it till the end